Electric field due to two thin rods. Two thin rods of length capital L lie along the x-axis. One between x equals one half a and x equals one half a plus L, and the other between x equals minus one half a and x equals minus one half a minus L. Each rod had positive has positive charge Q distributed uniformly along its length. You have uniform charge distribution. Part A, calculate the electric field produced by the second rod at points along the positive x-axis. So the second rod would be this rod. Okay, so we have the first rod, x equals 1 half A to 1 half A plus L. Second rod, minus 1 half A to minus 1 half A minus L. So we're going to calculate the electric field due to the second rod and the charge density lambda linear charge density is the total charge q divided by the length of the rod l so in order to calculate the electric field due to the second rod on the x axis i have to consider a charge element dq which is equal to lambda times dx uh, it's actually uh, dx prime we can say so uh, x prime is uh, the location of this charge element and you can see that if the if i have a point p at uh, x uh, with respect to the origin the distance between this point p and my charge element is x minus x prime uh, and x prime is the location of the charge element x prime is negative so it's going to be X, min, uh, x plus absolute value of x prime. So we're going to calculate the electric field due to this charge element and then integrate over this line, over this rod, in order to get the final answer. Okay, so what is the electric field due to this charge element? It is Coulomb's constant k, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, dq, which is lambda dx prime, uh, divided by distance squared, which is x minus x prime squared, and then we will integrate between the two ends. All right, so from here to here, we will uh, consider all x prime values. All right, so the electric field due to the charge element, uh, dE, is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Uh, the charge dq divided by x minus x prime squared and you can notice that this is an i hat direction because it's a positive charge the electric field would be in i hat direction on the x-axis so if i substitute for dq uh, lambda d dx prime i will get 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 Total charge Q divided by the length L, charge density, dx prime, divided by x minus x prime, parentheses squared, in i hat direction. The total electric field will be uh, the total charge Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 L, integral from minus 1 over 2a minus l, uh, one end point to the other end point, minus 1 over 2a, dx prime in the direction of increasing x prime, dx prime divided by x minus x prime, parentheses squared in i hat direction. So what I will do is I will let x minus x prime to be u so that dx prime is minus du so with that this is going to turn into q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 l integral of minus du over u square 
in i hat direction so x minus x prime parenthesis squared is u squared and that's going to be a minus q over 4 pi epsilon 0 l uh, the integral of du over u square is minus u to minus 1. This will be evaluated between the two endpoints. So it's from u1 to u2. Uh, but if I substitute for u x minus x prime, the two minus signs cancel each other. So this becomes plus. It's going to be q over 4 pi epsilon 0 l 1 over x minus x prime. That's u and that's evaluated between x prime is equal to minus 1 over 2 a minus l to x prime is equal to minus 1 over 2 a. Uh, so putting in the integration limits, uh, and this is an i hat direction, we find the electric field as a function of x, q over 4 pi epsilon 0 l, 1 over x minus x prime, so x plus uh, 1 over 2a so it's going to be x plus a over 2 plus l x plus a over 2 minus 1 over x plus a over 2 plus l in i hat direction so i multiply it by 2 over 2 that gives me the electric field as a function of x q divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 L 1 over 2x plus a minus 1 over 2x plus 2l plus a in i hat direction. So that's the electric field as a function of x. Okay. So, uh, what we have done here is basically we, we are looking at the electric field due to the second rod on the x-axis. So, we go to a point at a distance x from the origin. We look at the electric field due to a charge element, lambda dx prime, at a distance x minus x prime or x plus absolute value of x prime uh, to, to this point P and calculate the electric field, which is k dq over r squared, which is x minus x prime parentheses squared. Then we integrate from minus 1 over 2a minus l to minus 1 over 2a to obtain the total electric field, because each charge, each side charge element will have an electric field uh, in this direction, so they're going to add up. So we will see that dq is q over l dx prime and integrated from minus 1 over 2a minus l to minus 1 over 2a. Um, if we do this transformation, x, x minus x prime is equal to u. This can be easily solved and we obtain q over 4 pi epsilon 0 l 1 over x minus x prime in between the limits minus 1 over 2a minus l to minus 1 over 2a. So uh, we evaluated at, at the end points, so at minus 1 over 2a and at minus 1 over 2a minus, well, a, a, a minus l and subtract and we multiply it by 2 over 2, we obtain q over 2 pi epsilon 0 l 1 over 2x plus a minus 1 over 
2x plus 2l plus a in i hat direction. So that's going to be the answer to part 